Hey, so today I'm going to show you how to make a hockey stick. So by hockey stick, I of course mean a self spreader. They have these available from various stores, but they are fairly expensive. And you can make your own out of a glass pastor pipette. And it's much, much cheaper. So the first thing we have to do is light the Bunsen burner. So the first step is to seal off the tip of the pipette by rotating it in the flame so that a little ball of molten glass forms and then seals the opening shut. Then you're going to want to make the bend. So the first one is to put it horizontally into the flame and pull it out so that it falls flat. Now that should be perfect for spreading around a cell culture. The end uh, might end up scraping the media, so you can introduce another bend like that. And that should be enough to spread your cells around the plate fully. So just like before, we seal off the tip of it, rotating it in the flame, and sealed. Then we're going to want to introduce the first bend of the triangle. So this part involves using the thicker section, so it'll take a little bit longer to melt. And then once it starts to go, we only want a slight angle. Then we'll rotate it around so that we get the, um, the flat surface for creating the lawn of cells. And then one more to stop the sealed edge from scraping the media. So in this case, we've got an angled one it's angled and it will still work to spread the media around. These plastic ones are single use and they can add up to be very expensive very quickly. So if you've got a lot of spreading to do, it's better to make a glass one and sterilize it each time. So this is the basic hockey stick. It involved making two quick corners and sealing the tip. Uh, and this will work for spreading cells around any agar plate. So to make the ergonomic deluxe hockey stick, which looks nothing like a hockey stick, you make three bends here, here, and here, as well as the sealed tip. And you can raise it up off the table with one more bend at the top of the triangle. So that's how you make a hockey stick, and we'll see you next time.